Good morning. This is Stonewall KOTDM, and we're going to try something a little bit different this morning. This is going to be something I've never done before. This is a game. Welcome, Joker. I've never beaten this game before. I have played it, but I have never actually beaten it. So this is the first time that I'm doing something akin to a blind playthrough of a game. This is on the uh, Sega Genesis Classics cartridge, or not cartridge, um, game for PlayStation 4. And I'm going to be playing a game that I remember from when I was a kid, um, my uncle used to have the Sega channel. <laughs> that was a blast from the past. And this is a game that I used to start up and have no earthly clue what the hell I was doing because this was before the internet. So we're going to start up a new game or I could, you know, press the right button. There we go. We're going to start a new game, and since our character, there's only like four letters that we can use, I'm just going to go with, uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go with the default name of the character. There we go. And now we have our prologue. See, this, stu this was like high-tech stuff back in uh, the early the early 90s when this came out. Um, I believe that this is a scene from the original Fantasy Star, which I never played. <laughs> Mother Brain, this is not a Metroid game. I will let you all know, this is not a Metroid game, but for some reason, there's still a Mother Brain in it. So this is all happening automatically. That's an odd way to start a conversation. What I'm going to ask you to do will be the toughest job you have ever done, but it is vital to the future of Moda. Hi there, Conjured Queen. And Sammy Joe. Hi there. The gang's all here. <laughs> so basically, the upshot of this is that something's wrong with a recorder and I need to go find it. I think. After going home and preparing for the trip, Nay seemed worried. And yes, this is one of those early 90s, uh, early RPGs that came f directly from Japan. And because it came directly from Japan, uh, everybody looks like an anime character. Like, all these people look like they belong on Dragon Ball or something. And for some reason, the Japanese people have this weird, uh, what is it, obsession with people being mixed with animals. So, the girl with purple hair is like a cat girl. And apparently, uh, I worry about her like a sister, but she's not going to let me leave. I'll do anything? Um, let's just leave that at that, actually. <laughs> See, I actually have a checklist that I started on my phone. Uh, I did do a little bit of research about this. Okay, now I'm finally the one doing the moving. Now you can talk to all these people around town or not. Uh, where's the button for it? There we go. I have to press a whole other button to talk to people, as opposed to normal games where you press the same button to talk to people. Laptop, so I can watch what I'm doing. Uh, 
Okay. So basically, like I said, you can walk around town and you can talk to all these people and they can give you a little bit of background on what's been going on here. Some of these buildings uh, you can walk into even though it doesn't look like you can. Like, uh, let me see, I'm trying to think. One of these tower looking buildings will actually give you a little dialogue when you walk in and look at them. There we go. The control tower which links the town and mother brain. So basically this is a role playing game but it's like takes place way in the future. So it's like a futuristic role playing game, sort of like Final Fantasy VIII. Now right here, uh, this little building with the computer disc on the side of it, that's I think believe is a save point. Um, let's see here. That one, this one here that I'm looking at is a teleporter which will take you to different towns. That's your hospital, which will heal your party members. This one here is a little different. Um, there's games like uh, Dragon Quest, where you can go to a church and they'll bring your dead characters back to life. In this one, uh, they bring your dead characters back to life by cloning them. So that's a kind of a novel concept, which I've never heard before. Oh, the Biosystems Lab. I'm sure we'll go there some point. In fact, I know for a fact we will. I'm definitely not in this episode. Why did I decide to stream this game? Because I... Uh, I was getting a little bit bored with Plants vs. Zombies. This is just an experiment, actually, just to see if this would actually work, and it did, so <laughs> I'm going to stick with it for an hour. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, these red buildings over here, this is an item shop, this is a armor shop, and then up here, this is a weapon shop. Now. For the moment, weapons are going to be a lot more uh, important than armor. Look at the friggin' 80s hair metal uh, poison Motley Crue haircut on that guy. That's awesome. I wish I had hair like that. I guess if I actually like teased my hair up, I could actually do that. I might be able to pull it off. It would be a little hard to get underneath the hair net that I have at work. Okay, so we want to buy, we want to buy one, let's see, steel bar for Ney, yes, and we actually want to buy two of them because we can dual wield in this game. No, okay. So, let's see here, uh, what button is the menu, there we go, equip, Ney, first steel bar in her right hand, which brings her defense and her attack up. Then you put the other steel bar in her left hand, and it raises her attack and defense again, which is fantastic. Because this is an extremely old school RPG, which means uh, level grinding. Now, okay. So we're going to start with these three guys, these mosquitoes. Gotta be careful here, because they got the jump on me, it looks like. Okay, so there's two different ways you can go about doing battles. You can either do the auto-fight option, which I wouldn't recommend at the moment, or strategy. And strategy is where you can actually choose what you're going to do. So we're going to have Ney attack instead of defend. I don't know why they defaulted her to defend. I think that's kind of stupid. <clears throat> but I fixed it. Then we're going to have Rolf. Oh, well, Rolf was already going to fight. The problem is she attacks random enemies. So, like, every enemy got hit once. There we go. Take out two, take out three. Okay. Seda is the, uh, what do you call it, um, currency in the game. 
Um, it's like the gold pieces, like if you were playing Final Fantasy VII, it would be like, uh, Gil. Or if you were playing Dragon Quest, I think it would be gold pieces, but here it's Meseta for some reason. Um, let's see, let me pull up my little, uh, I made a little, I watched a few of H.C. Bailey's, um, videos about this game. On something real quick. Okay. I want to make sure they're not dying. My, pe my party members aren't dying or anything. Uh, let's see. There was a building I wanted to visit, and I forgot to visit it before I left. Here it is. The one right here in the middle. That looks like almost like a space thing. Um, that is the sort of the main hub, the central tower, and. The room, which is not the movie The Room, but the actual, that just says room for some reason, is a storage facility. Because, once again, this is an old school RPG, so it has limited inventory space, and uh, you can give this guy stuff that you don't want to be lugging around. So I'm actually going to get, I don't have anything to give him right now, but I just wanted to, you know explain what that part of that building was. Now, if you go to the library, that's where I actually want to go. You can look up... Yeah, see, the librarian says that, that Rolf and the others are going to the Biosystems Lab to get the recorder. So if you want to look something up, you can, uh... You can look up a, a, a tab here, and it'll show you what you're looking for. So, you can look up History, Biosystems, Climatrol, Dam, or Mother Brain. And this is more, I'm probably not going to show this because it might be a little bit boring, but um, it's basically just background flavor for, you know, the, the world that you've been entered into in this game. And actually, believe it or not, we're actually not, despite that being our mission, we actually have quite a few other things to do before we're even going to be allowed to go to the uh, biosystems lab. Now what we need to do first is we need, let's see, we want to go back to the weapon shop. I'm going to show you what I'm actually, my goal is for this episode. And my two goals for this episode is to get enough money to buy a knife for 100 Meseta and down here in this middle building, the item shop. Is, I also want to get 70 Meseta for an escape pipe, which I'm gonna, which I'll actually want to use in the next dungeon. But it's gonna be a little while before I get to the first dungeon of the game. Because if you try to go straight to the first dungeon of the game, these enemies will rip you in half. They will absolutely destroy you. So, and then the other items here. The antidote, that's sort of a standard thing in role-playing games. It cures the poison status. Monomates, those cure 20 HP when you use them. And the dimate cures 60 HP. And, uh, yes, I have played a few Castlevania games. But, um, Milica, uh, I think that's what I'm going to, I'm going to go with Milica. And thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. Um, the Dimates 
um, they cure 60 HP. And yeah, I've played I played the first two Castlevanias for um, the Nintendo. I did play Super Castlevania 4 for um, uh, Super Nintendo. Um, and I played a little bit of... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's the one... It was on PlayStation. No. It was on PlayStation 1. And it was... Um, oh, I can't remember the name. Symphony of the Night. That's the one. Um, it's it was called Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's the one that I played. That was on PlayStation One. Let's see here. Now each of your characters will learn some techs, and techs are basically just magic spells. Now for Rolf can't learn any or can't use any right now because he hasn't learned any. And. Uh, Oh, um, Symphony of the Night, you mean? Now, Ney has the Res spell, which is short for Restore, and she can restore some HP with that spell. 20 HP, I believe, with that one. So we're just kind of... We're going to... Let me check and see. Can I... Okay, if I go to my state... Yeah, Symphony of the Night, I did try to play that a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm not very good at action-y kind of games. And, oh, Milica, thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, I'm not very good at action-y type games, as you can tell by the fact that I play old-school, slow-moving type role-playing games like this. <laughs> Um, oh, what do we got here? We got bees and we got fire ants. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and see if we can. not There we go. Okay, we got rid of the fire ant. Might have to heal Rolf after this battle. Alright, Nay gains level, gets more HP, more tech points, awesome. My day? Um, not bad. I, uh... I woke up before my alarm. I set my alarm for, like, 7 o'clock in the morning, and... <laughs> uh, I set my alarm for 7 o'clock this morning, and I didn't go to sleep, because I got, I didn't get home from work until 11, like 11.30 last night. There we go. I need to remember to heal up. Oh, Nay gains another level. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I'll just go back to town. I'll use the hospital. Um, I ended up... Like I said, I didn't get home from work until 11.30, and then I kind of just had a snack, and then I had a monster headache when I got home from work yesterday. So, um, I took some Advil, and I took a melatonin, and I went to sleep probably a little bit after midnight. And then, like, I don't know what the hell happened to me at, like, I think it was, like, quarter till six in the morning. Something jolted me, and it just woke me up. And I had no idea what it was. But, um, I woke up, and I could not get back to sleep. <laughs> so I was like, ah, let's just stay up. And I started watching YouTube videos.
Hey, Rolf gains a level. All right. How are we doing on money? 139, okay. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and buy him that other knife. I think he can, I'm pretty sure he can dual wield. I think everybody, except for certain characters, can dual wield in this game, which is actually really cool because I think in this game, this is one of those ones where a good offense is the best defense. Now the problem is you're not allowed to sell items at a weapon shop, which you can in like every other RPG, but you have to go to the item shop to sell stuff, which to me doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I didn't make the game. I'm gonna s oh wait, no. Okay, I thought I was gonna, okay, I, can, I thought I was gonna have to sell something, but actually I'm not gonna be selling anything. I just realized that it's it's doing that again with the not reading all the people in the chat in the room. Cuz I'm on my actual stream manager and it's reading two viewers. And there's a there's like five five six people in here. I mean if it stays on two at least that'll be better than it was yesterday. <laughs> Let's equip Rolf with the other knife. There we go, his... Oops, let me cancel that out. Okay, cool. All right, maybe, it's, maybe it just needs to update on mine. I keep hitting Reese or uh Okay. Well maybe if you guys say it, you know, if it's saying three on you guys then it should be okay. Even though it says two on like everything I have. The way that they read this just confuses the heck out of me. Oh well. If you guys say it's three, then I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna, gonna ignore it. Now hopefully, since Rolf has a new weapon, he should be a little bit stronger here. Or he could just miss. Now these guys can actually steal some of your HP, which is... not ideal, but they don't steal enough HP for it to be, uh... Oh, there it goes. Now it just... Okay. Now it, uh, updated. But they, these guys don't steal enough of your HP for it to actually be a, uh, an issue. Okay. Somebody just sent me a follow request on, uh, Instagram and I have no idea who they are. What's funny is she hits like it looks like she's scratching with her with claws, but she's got metal bars as weapons, so I never quite understood exactly how that worked. Here we go. These are the guys that can drain your HP. But like I said, they don't drain enough to where it becomes a huge issue. Check my money. State. 79. Okay, I can actually buy the thing that I want to buy. So let's buy that from the item shop. 
be great if they started me at the other end of the town, which was closer to the stores, but whatever. <laughs> I might want to drop by the hospital too before I leave. Is it just to heal up? I don't know if I'm gonna have enough eight, or money to heal up actually. Okay, we want to buy one escape pipe. Uh, let's give it to Rolf. He can. He will have Rolf hold it. Okay. I'm glad you guys enjoy the streams. This is, like I said, this is kind of an experiment that I'm doing just to see, just to play something a little different. Um, if I do decide to do another stream tomorrow, which I more than likely will, um, I'll probably go back to Plants vs. Zombies. But like I said, this was just a, uh, an experiment I wanted to try. I just got this game, um, I just got it in the mail uh, about a week ago, and I wanted to give it a try. Because I'm a big fan, you guys all know, I'm a huge fan of uh, retro-type games. And this, um, this game that I'm playing, it's a compilation of like 50 or more old Sega Genesis games from back in the 80s and 90s. And, uh... I think I did put this in a little while ago and I played um it's like Streets of Rage or something like that. I'm not and I was I'm not very good at it. Once again, because it's an action type game and I suck at action games. What is Anthem? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through this pipe up here. Now, I don't think there's any enemies in here. Okay. Depends on what time it is tomorrow, because to uh, Sunday is my day where I sleep. But, um... We want to head down this way. Uh oh Got to be careful about these guys, because they can really pack a punch. Or, you know, I could miss everything. Oh, okay, okay. See, they, they really took a big chunk out of uh, Nay's HP because they have a magical attack that can cut through your defense. So, I'm actually going to... Oops, I'm going to go to Tech, Nay, and I'm going to use Restore on her. There we go. Okay, see, Monday I'm off, so I'm actually... I will be able to uh, come and check that out. Now, this town has been... Just because I don't want to walk around and talk to all these people. Um, this isn't Star Tropics, after all. Um, this, this town has basically been destroyed by hoodlums with uh, dynamite. So, I wonder if there's even a hospital in this town. Is there? There's... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind, because one thing I do want to do while I'm here... Well, actually, I'm going to do it later, but... Um, one thing I do want to do is this guy has some new weapons and some of them are very, very good. Like this ceramic knife is really good. The sword, the dagger, those are all better than what you have now. Um, but what I really like to buy is a shotgun. And that's for a character that we haven't gotten in our party yet. Um... So, yeah, we're going to need to come up with 800 Meseta for this shotgun. So that's kind of going to be my next goal before we go to another dungeon. Now, let me 
see if I can find... What? Okay, there's a mechanic in this game that's a little bit weird. And I'm going to explain that right now. Because the... The mechanic that's a little bit weird is how you get party members. And the way that you get party members in this game is... Anytime you go and visit a new town, anywhere in the game, uh, if you go back to the first town that you started out in, and go back to the house that you live in, um, there will always be someone waiting for you at your house, and those are going to be the people who join up with your party. So... Now that we've visited that other town, I completely zone out on what the names are of these towns. Um, let's get rid of these guys first. Looks like they have 9 HP. These mosquitoes do, I mean. There we go. check and see what our money situation is. Uh, okay, I'm up to 63 at least. Better than nothing, I suppose. Is this the bridge that I'm... Okay, no, no, that's not the right place. But yeah, um, like I said, since I'm off on Monday, I can actually, I'll be actually uh, able to come in and, and check out that Anthem stream. So I'm pretty interested in finding out what that game's all about. Or I could just Google it while I'm at work tonight. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if I can find the right building here. Uh, that's not the right building. Um, let's see, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Uh, it's not that one. I'm on my PlayStation 4. Like, I'm streaming directly from my PlayStation 4. Yeah. Ah, there it is. I found it. Ah, there's a knock at the door. Professional bio monster hunter. Uh, kind of reminds me of a young Gary Busey, but, you know. <laughs> Be before the drugs and alcohol. Good lord, people are blowing up my Instagram. Okay, um, I have little talent except that I'm good with a gun, so why would I want to hire you? <laughs> Rudolf Steiner. That's a very German sounding name. Uh, no, I'm just gonna leave your name the way it is. Okay, reorganize. Okay, we want to bring in Rudo our party. And he comes equipped already. Let's see, where is he equipped? There we go. He comes equipped with a headgear, a fiber coat, boots, and a bow gun. Now, he has an interesting way of attacking because he has these shoot type weapons like guns and uh, bow and arrows and stuff. So, uh, I think he randomly with the, um, how do I explain this? Because it's a little, I mean, it's not complicated, but it's weird. Um, every time he attacks, he hits twice. And both of those attacks cut through an, uh, an enemy's defense, so their defense stat doesn't even matter. Um, but... The shotgun is basically a more powerful version of his bow gun. Um, let's see. He actually starts with like way more HP than any of your other party members. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to run over to the hospital. And I'm going to regain my HP. There 
There we go. No, nobody else needs cured. And then... Let's see... State order. Okay, I want to put Rudo in the front, Rolf, and then Ney. Because if you look at the state, you'll see... Well, actually, Ney has more HP than Rolf does. Oh, wow. Alright, so actually, I might want to well, put Rudo, then Ney. Okay, there we go. Um, you want to put your people in order of HP from highest to lowest because the way that enemy attacks work in this game is I think your ma your front character has like a oh what is it like a like a th 3 out of 10 chance of being the one who gets attacked every turn and then your next character I think has like a 2 out of 10 and then your next character has like a 1 out of 10 so it kind of goes like that. So you want to have your character with the most HP in the front. Because they're the ones that are going to be taking all the damage. So we're actually going to head back to that other town that we were at uh, earlier. Because the enemies around the other town uh, that we were in before are actually a bit stronger. Well, these guys aren't. These guys are the same shit that we've been fighting. There we go. Um, the enemies around here are going to be a little bit stronger, so they'll also give me more experience and more money. So I won't have to be, I won't have to grind as much as I did before. Although if I keep fighting enemies from the beginning of the game, then I'm going to keep getting the same shitty experience and the same, uh, the same shitty money. Rolf gains a level, new HP, new MP. Ney gains level, new HP, new MP. Awesome. Let me see here. Uh, tech. Rudo, now Rudo never learns how to use techs. So, you know, he never learns magic. So don't worry about that. Um, Ney still has just the restore. And Rolf still hasn't learned any techs. Okay. So let's check our money situation. Okay, we're up over 100 now. So we're, we're one-eighth of the way there. There was another place I wanted to check out, but I forget exactly what direction it is from where I am right now. Let's see. Is it down here, maybe? No. Whoa, what do we got here? Holy shit, look at these guys. Locusts. That's a hell of a big locust. They don't have that much HP, though. They look more intimidating than they actually are. But they give a decent amount of money, which is cool. Um, I was trying to find that bridge, but... Um, oh, wait, is it... I don't know if I want to go over there. Because I might get splattered by the enemies over there. <clears throat> I don't want to end up getting a game over. It's easy to get game overs in this game because this is a uh, uh, this is an, uh, an old school RPG, and old school RPGs are famous for cheap deaths and cheap game overs. So far, so good, I guess. 
It took me a sec to get the controls to this game. For some reason, um, this game doesn't have the original, the original Fantasy Star on it, which is I, fi I find kind of weird, actually. Um, you would think that if it had, you know, it was old. Sega Genesis games, that it would have, uh, the original, if it was going to have Fantasy Star 3 and 2, 3, and 4, you would think it would have, uh, Fantasy Star 1 on it, too, but I guess it doesn't. How am I doing on HP? Okay, everybody's still alright for the moment. If I need to heal, I'll go back to that, uh, I'll go into this town and heal. Because Nay is actually has the her HP's taken a beating here. Now, by the time I get the 800 Meseta that I need to buy the shotgun, um. I'm gonna have plenty of levels to go into the next, or to go into the first dungeon and actually be able to survive. So it's kind of like, this is the problem with early role-playing games um, that came out before, say, like the day of Final Fantasy and uh, Soikoden and Breath of Fire and Lufia and some of the other role-playing games that came out later on. Um, old RPGs are very big on grinding and very big on just, you know, grinding for levels and um, farming for gold, farming for money because they do have a fair amount of uh, exploration that you can do and like you can really explore in this game but the problem is is if you go too far you're gonna fight enemies that are gonna be way out of your depth and then you're gonna get your ass handed to you like these guys are still these guys are still a little bit annoying but they're not terrible oh I gotta be careful because Nay's getting low on HP HP MP is always welcome, especially in this game. Oh shit, I hope they don't kill her. I was headed back to the town to do the, uh, what is it? To go back to the hospital so I can gain my HP MP back. Or, in this game, it's TP. And no, that's not toilet paper. Although, in today's world, that is currency. Um, and... TP does also not mean the weirdo with the, the huge belt buckle who gets it on with his girlfriend in the hot tub in the movie Madman. No, no. It's not that TP either. It means tech points. Okay. Oh, cool. We're up to almost 300 Meseta. So we're we're actually we're almost halfway to the shotgun already. Sweet. Let's see, let's venture a little bit further here, and see if we can find an, uh, some enemies that might give us a little bit more money. Locust and Froggy. Okay. Come on, hit this douchebag. There we go. 
We really want to get rid of the froggy first because the froggy enemy has an attack that, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it can hit all of your party members. Either it hits all of them or one of them. I forget which. But it um, ignores your defense because it's considered a magical type attack. So, yeah, it'll do more damage than the normal physical attacks that the enemies are... I did not want to go in there. Than the enemies are used to hitting you with. So you want to be careful about that. Oh, that's okay, James. I appreciate you uh, coming and, ch and checking it out. Hopefully your internet gets fixed. It might just be a... Maybe just a bad night. Maybe the... Is there bad weather going on there? The strategy that I'm using uh, when I'm playing this game is, I mean, I give full credit completely to H.C. Bailey. He is a, he's probably like my idol when it comes to playing games on the internet. Um, he's, he doesn't do Twitch and he doesn't do live streams. He records videos for YouTube and he's been doing that for probably... Geez, probably 12, 13 years now. And he is the number one role-playing game uh, guru, I guess, on the entire internet. I mean, I've learned so much from watching his videos. Um, just learning how to play games in a totally different way than I ever thought possible. Um, I mean, I've beaten a lot of the games that he played before he ever played them, and I would go back and watch his videos of, um, I would go back and watch H.C. Bailey's videos of him playing games that I had already beaten, and he would beat them in a totally different way than I was even, I'd never even considered doing it the way that he did it. And then he would show you things that you never knew about enemy weaknesses and uh, strategies to use and things like that that make the game and a lot, whatever game you're playing, make it so much easier. And so when I was up early this morning, I watched a couple of his videos about, watched him playing this game and it really, really, uh, it definitely opened my eyes as far as... Because this is one of those games that, like I said, I played it when I was little, uh, when my uncle had the Sega channel. And like I said, there's a blast from the past. Um, and he... Or I would just pick up and play, and without a strategy guide... And back in those days, you didn't have the internet, so you didn't have Wikipedia or... Uh, game facts or anything like that to use, so you were kind of going into every game blind. Um, but now that I can watch a video of H.C. Bailey playing this game and playing it well and showing you what to do, um, it's an incredible, just an incredible resource. Uh, Oop, I don't want to use item. Let's go to state. All right, we're over halfway there. But yeah, like, H.C. Bailey is a major, major resource for me when it comes to playing role-playing games. Especially, um... Like, if you saw some of the things I was doing when I was playing Final Fantasy X, like, a lot of that was uh, strategies that I learned from H.C. Bailey. Uh-oh, Rudo's paralyzed. That's... that's not good. 
Okay, Rudo's no longer paralyzed. So he just missed out on one turn. That's not so bad. Alright, Rudo gets another level, which means more HP. Awesome. Now, there's a little shortcut here that I can show you. Um, if you want to go back to the first town, because I think the hospital might be cheaper there, if I'm not mistaken. You can actually walk into the side of this pipe instead of having to go all the way around. Oh no! I hope everything's okay. Trust me, I work at a hospital. I know what disasters at work are all about. I'm kind of hoping for a low-key day today when I go in at 12. Yeah, see, this place here is a little bit cheaper than the other town. The other town is 10, 10 Meseta per person. This one's only 8. Okay, everybody's healed. Okay. Probably going to play for about eight more minutes or so, and then I'll have to go eat my breakfast so I can get ready for work. Ah, uh, you know what, if I'm not mistaken, I think my ex-girlfriend, uh, Mindy, was a, uh, caregiver. So, I definitely, uh, definitely know all about that. Mosquitoes. Eventually, I'm going to get to a level where I can one-shot these guys. That is, if Nay decides to not miss all of her attacks. Another low. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Rolf gained his first tech in this game, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Tech. Rolf. Ryuka. There we go. Now my, my mind finally updated. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, I think Ryuka is a sort of an escape type spell. Um, and what that does is it lets you, it's, I think it's a warp type spell. It lets you warp to different, uh, it lets you warp to different towns and Hell yeah, get that hype going. Um, it warps you to different towns, but you can't warp straight out of a dungeon. So that's why I wanted, I wanted to buy that uh, escape pipe that I bought. Because um, you have to escape from the dungeon. No, no, actually, Sammy, the, the viewer... Average never got rectified. I went in to check it last night when I got home from work, and it was still, uh, they still hit me with a one average yesterday. So yeah, my my average ended up going down from 2.71 to uh, 2.68. So I only lost 0.3, but still, I mean. 
It's not, I'm not, I'm going back. I was going backwards yesterday and I was going instead of forward. But, you know, I mean, I guess you can just file that under shit happens, I suppose. Let's go over here instead of staying so close to the town. Maybe I can fight some stronger enemies. Uh, yeah. Well, like I said, I think I sent AXT a message yesterday that said, I'm lucky, I'm very, very lucky to have people like you who are willing to uh, help me get to the goal that I want to get to. Like, I mean, that's, it's, that's incredibly humbling to somebody like me who, I just started this channel back in December um, as a lark. You know, I just started it as a goof, basically. <laughs> I was playing, uh, what was I playing? I was playing Jurassic World Evolution on my PlayStation 4, and I kept wondering, like, what is this share button on my PlayStation 4? Like, what the hell does that even mean? And I pressed it, and it said, oh, you can broadcast on Twitch. And I said, well, I do have a Twitch account, because I do watch, uh, I was watching Nintendo Capri Sun, and every once in a while I would watch, uh, um, oh hell, the guy who paints, Bob Ross, you know, sometimes. So I was like, well, what the hell, I'll go ahead and give it a try. So I started broadcasting Jurassic World Evolution, and all of a sudden I started getting people watching me play Jurassic World. So I was like, oh, holy crap. So then I started like investigating, oh, maybe I can play some other games, maybe I can play this, maybe I can play that. And it's now at the spot where it is. And I mean, a lot of that is because of the support of people like you, Sammy Joe, AXT Joker, Conjured Queen, uh, Galaplex. I'm gonna have to come in at some point and maybe give, uh, probably give Sammy Joe the VIP treatment, too. Although I don't know what that actually means. Like, I don't know if the... <laughs> I don't know... I don't know what the VIP status actually gives you. I don't know, beyond maybe just being a fancy title. But hey, if anybody... If anybody deserves to be a VIP on this channel, it's AXT Joker for sure. Let's see, how's my money situation going here? 663. Okay, I'm not doing so bad here. I know, that's like the, the literally the, the only thing that it does. It gives you a fancy little icon next to your name. <laughs> hey, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye, right? Alright, 47 Meseta. Where am I at? 710. We're almost there. We're almost there. I need 90 more. Oh wait, actually, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, let me go back to... Um, I'm probably going to be wrapping it up here pretty soon. Maybe a minute or two more. Just I want to finish what I'm, I actually want to finish what I'm doing. Because <laughs> if I don't, then I'm not going to remember that I did it next time I start this game up. What I'm doing now should only take maybe like five more minutes at most. Okay, so I'm gonna sell 
Make it 10 minutes just to be sure. Okay. I'm going to sell Rudo's bow gun. And it gives me 150 Meseta. Which kicks me up over the top of where I want to be. So I want to try to get to the next town as quickly as possible. Because... Um, Rudo doesn't have a weapon right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use my shortcut to go from that town to the other town. I actually have to take the long way around. Well, let's let... Uh, We'll let Rolf and Nay take care of these guys. Okay. Almost there. There we go. God damn it, game. Right. Let's finish these guys off and then we'll, uh jump back into the town. And we'll probably use, hopefully we'll have enough uh, Meseda left over to use the hospital. Because Nay's HP is taking a beating again. Okay. So, we sold Rudo's bow gun because we're now going to buy him a shotgun. There it is, we want the shotgun. Which one of you lugs is gonna hold it? Rudo. Nope, I'm good. Okay. Equip, Rudo, shotgun. And his attack goes all the way up to 40. So yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with pretty soon. Um, what else did I want to do? Uh, let's go to the hospital. Because, like I said, Nay needs to have her HP refill. There we go. Everybody's healed back up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, jeez, I did everything that I had in my... Uh, Everything that I had on my notepad on my computer, I actually did. <laughs> I've accomplished all my goals. Okay, um, let's see. Where do we want to go next? I think if we cross this bridge... Uh... Actually, you know what, let me... I'm on my PlayStation 4, so I can actually open shit up on my computer without it ending, or without it, uh, pausing the game automatically. I'm just checking the map to make sure and, and see where I actually am here. Um, okay, so I want to go... I want to head, like, to the far, far east. Yeah, I'm actually headed in the wrong direction. Oh, I need to fix Rolf, or I need to fix uh, Rudo next time I go into battle. Okay, so I want to go across this bridge. Then I want to... Actually, you know what? I do want to show you something. While I have a little bit of, of extra time here. I got about five more minutes. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to do it. Okay, maybe next time I get into a battle, I'll actually re freaking remember to do it. Okay. 
So I want to go all the way across here. Now you see that pipe up here to the left? If you go in here, there's a dude standing there who won't let you pass. And you can go all the way up here, and this is all the further you can go. I've seen that face. He tried to kill Nay seven months ago. This is bad news. Let's go back for a while. Uh, yeah. If he attempted to murder my friend, uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and not bother that guy. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass down here and back across this bridge. There should be another bridge here on the right hand side. Okay, we need to go to strategy, Rudo, attack. Uh, let's have him attack the bees. And fight, okay. Fire ant. Now with the shotgun, I believe Rudo will now get two hits instead of just one. Or he could miss. I think it's... See, he only got one hit that. I think that's maybe because he missed. Well, Nay got another level. Sweet. Okay, so we want to keep going this way. Or we could run into another battle. Why not? There we go, now he hit two. I think that's random whether or not that actually works. Let's see, I don't think I wanna cross this bridge. Let me see, there's my map. Uh, actually, I do wanna cross this bridge, okay. And then we gotta try to pass between these lily pads. up here. See, I thought we'd be fighting harder enemies, but apparently not. Because now Ney is getting strong enough to one-shot these guys. Which actually is pretty cool, because that helps a lot. Um, this is where we're supposed to go next. This is the next area. This is our first dungeon of the game. It's called Shuri, or S-H-U-R-E. I'm um, not 100% sure how to pronounce that. Uh, let's see, we'll pull up a map here. Uh, Moda Dungeons. Shuri is where I'm at. And I'm on the first floor. Okay, so, is there anything that I can actually collect here? I don't think so. Because there's a lot of... The problem with the dungeons in this game is that they are somewhat difficult to navigate and they're very confusing. So if you don't have maps and you don't know exactly what you're going for, um, you could end up running in circles and just, you know, completely getting lost. But anyways, what I'm gonna do here is, let's see. This is the menu screen of the game, and I just wanted to make a... Uh, let's see... I want to make two saves. Oops. There we go, full screen. Okay. Um, Anyways, yeah, I wanted to make two saves real quick because I'm actually going to go ahead and call this a stream. Um, I want to thank Galaplex, Sammy Joe, AXT Joker, um, Conjured Queen, and I want to also thank Milica for the follow and the lurk. Um, I'm going to head out here and get my breakfast and get ready for work. So, as always, uh... Stay well, stay safe, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.